The college season opens with a scary game for the ACC. When you look at the odds, which is where I begin when trying to get a feel on a team or on a game. Vegas is trying to warn us that Florida State isn't going to have it easy against Georgia Tech Saturday at noon. FSU, they're a top 10 team. They're coming off an unbeaten season. They were left out of the playoff. They have all this talent. They have an ax to grind. They're going to murder Georgia Tech. What? It's Georgia Tech we're talking about on the other side. The spread's only 11 and a half points. Send me that cash up, fam. Now, that might sound like a lot to you, but let me put that in perspective. There's another ACC team playing Saturday. SMU is going to Nevada this weekend. But wait, Dave Doran, I thought the ACC said that you couldn't have road games at group of five teams. That's what I was led to believe. SMU is going to Nevada. New ACC team at a group of five team. SMU is favored by 27 and a half points in that game. Send me that cash up, fam. That's more than twice the spread of FSU Georgia Tech. SMU is not ranked. And if they were, they wouldn't be anywhere near the top 10. FSU could have a problem with Georgia Tech. The reality is that Brent Key's Yellow Jackets, they're a wild card. They had a winning record last year. Did you know that? They were seven and six. Brent Key, since becoming the coach, so this applies to his interim coaching days, after he took over for a fired Jeff Collins, he is four and oh against ranked ACC teams straight up. Four games against ranked ACC teams, and Brent Key's won all of them including in Chapel Hill against Drake Bay in 2022. He 4-0 against ranked ACC teams. Plus, they have Haynes King playing at quarterback. Here's what I learned about Haynes King talking to him at ACC Football Media Days in Charlotte last month. He might have the most irrational confidence of any player in college football. Haynes King believes he is Caleb Williams. That's who Haynes King believes he is. Find you somebody who loves you the way Haynes King loves Haynes King. And you know what? Love that. And an athlete. Love that. If that's my quarterback, don't love it. If I'm facing a confident guy. Also, if you're a believer in karma, karma is a cat after all. Anybody have it coming their way more than Florida State after the stink they raised this offseason? We missed the playoff. We're going to sue you the week of Christmas. Try to get out of the league. Man. All that from Florida State. That's how I picture all this stuff from Florida State, by the way. Anytime they say, Meh! all these FSU fans, hashtag talking about the Noles. You just wait. We're going to find that. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You just wait till August 15th gets here. August 15th was last week. What happened, though? Anything? Crickets? Oh, got it. We'll just keep going with the we'll wait and see line. Then 2036 is going to arrive and. Oh, now I told you we'd get out. Uh Uh-huh. Got it. Anybody deserve it karma-wise more than Florida State to have a trip-up game like this right out of the gate? Don't forget, here's a detail we haven't brought up. The game's in Ireland. The Ireland games, they're always weird. We've seen five since the turn of the century. Five college football games since the year 2000, or really since the mid-90s. Two of them have involved Notre Dame against outmatched Navy teams, so we'll write those off. How about the other three, though? Here are the scores of those games. Northwestern 31, Nebraska 28, 
pretty much the end of the Scott Frost era that day. Penn State 26, UCF 24, very tight game. And how about this? Georgia Tech 17, Boston College 14. Close games. Boston College. 11 and a half point spread. Vegas is telling you something here. When Vegas is trying to tell you something, perhaps you should listen. And what Vegas is trying to tell you, the college football season is going to open up with a scary game for the ACC. And the reason it's a scary game for the ACC and not just Florida State, if FSU loses a game to open the season, that invites so much scrutiny for the conference as a whole. Paul! Oh, yeah. He'll be ready. Paul Feinbaum. The Paul! bat signal of shooting the sky. It's just going to be like a silhouette of a bald person with glasses. When if FSU loses a football game, the, the bat signal is going to go up. And Paul! Paul, he'll be ready to pounce. On X at WSJS Radio, if you want in, that's where we're streaming video in addition to YouTube, Twitch, and X. Just thought it's the five-year anniversary of the ACC Network. Happy birthday to the ACC Network. I'm sure Paul Feinbaum left a really nice birthday gift. Paul! The ACC Network, courtesy of the SEC Network. Got it. Uh, yeah, they're partners. They're brothers, sisters, however you want to view that uh, relationship. Will Dalton. 